Our very distant cousin, a 20 million year old discovery on display in Paris. Scientists working on Earth's tree of life, excited by the prospects of the find. It's the first time we've got a really good sample of Ugandapithecus major. Before that, it was known by jaw fragments, isolated teeth, a few postcranial bones. But here we really have a good idea for the first time of what the whole skull might have looked like. The skull of the Uganda Pithecus, found under layers of volcanic ash in northern Uganda, is the culmination of 25 years of work. Paleontologist Martin Pickford says it will shed light on the evolution of primates. The teeth are not heavily worn, so we can learn a lot about diet, possible diet of this animal. Uh, we can tell it's a young male from the size of the canine and so on. We have a large part of the brain case in fragments, and once that's cleaned and reconstituted, we can get an idea about brain size. Scarred by war, a brutal military ruler, and bordered by countries ravaged by conflict, Uganda is, according to scientists, a treasure trove of archaeological information. The country's ambassador in France hopes that these remnants from the past bode well for Uganda's future. I think Uganda, you know, after so many years of turmoil and conflict, this was like a, a, a real discovery. You know, there's something coming out of Uganda. I think it will help our people to look back and see where we came from.